Hey guys, quick back to basics here. Let's talk about growth curve. The growth curve can be separated into three distinct stages. The stages are lag phase, growth phase or exponential phase, and the stationary phase. Lag phase is a stage where the cells try to adjust themselves in the new environment. It is also possible that some cells may not survive the new environment. Hence the graph shows drop in the number of viable cells. When the cells eventually become adjusted to new environment, they begin to divide at a rapid rate. This stage of rapid cell division is known as the growth phase or the exponential phase. Here the cells double their number at a constant time interval. Because of such rapid cell division during exponential phase, we usually plot the graph with the logarithmic scale. Let's understand exponential phase of the growth curve in more detail. Suppose there was one cell and it divides itself into two. With time, two becomes four, four becomes eight, eight becomes 16 and so on. Here, mathematically, the cells are doubling. Hence, one cell can be represented as 2 raised to 0, which is 1. When one cell divides into 2, we can represent this as 2 raised to 1, which is 2. Two cells further divides to form four cells. Hence, this can be represented as 2 raised to 2, which is 4. Further, 4 cells divides into 8 cells, hence this can be represented as 2 raised to 3, which is 8. 8 cells will then divide to form 16 cells, hence this can be represented as 2 raised to 4, which is 16. This can continue till n number of cell division. Hence, total number of cells can be written as b is equal to 2 raised to n, where n is the number of cell division. Now, this equation holds true when there was one cell initially and it divided n number of times. But if there were two cells initially, then we have to multiply this equation by 2. If there were 3 cells initially, then we need to multiply the equation by 3. Hence, total number of cells after n number of cell division can be written as b is equal to a into 2 raised to n. Your a is the initial number of cells. If we multiply this equation by log to the base 10, then we get log b is equal to log a plus n log 2. Now log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010. Hence log b is equal to log a plus n into 0 0.3010. So the number of generation or the total number of division n is equal to log b minus log a upon 0 0.3010. Now the doubling time td is nothing but the time taken to complete n number of cell divisions. Hence td is equal to t upon n. If we substitute n in this equation, then we get the following equation. Using this equation, the doubling time can be estimated. Now let's talk about the stationary phase. Due to exponential growth, when the nutrients becomes limited, the cells stop dividing and enters the stationary phase. 
besides depletion of nutrients, accumulation of waste products, lack of oxygen, unfavorable pH also results in the stationary phase.